In this part of 5.3, we're going to factor and solve using the rainbow method. Because it's so much fun. Okay, well with the rainbow method, what we're going to do is this. We're going to set it up a similar way with the x. Alright. We want to add up to 11, but instead of multiplying to this negative 20 here, we want to multiply to the product of these two, which would be negative 60. So what are two numbers that multiply to negative 60 and add up to 11? Well, that would be 15 and negative 4. 15 times negative 4 is negative 60. We're multiplying to this, and we're adding to the 11 up top. 15 plus a negative 4 would give me 11. Now, we don't just do this. This is not what we do here. We don't go x plus 15 times x minus 4 equals 0 and call it a day and solve it. No, because x times x would give me x squared, not 3x squared. So right there, it's wrong. Can't do that. No siree. Here's what we have to do. It's a little bit more difficult and more fun. We have our 3x squared, and I'm going to split that 11x up into 15x minus 4x. So 15x minus 4x, that gives me 11x, right? And then I have my minus 20, and that all equals 0. So I'm just changing the 11x to a 15x minus 4x. Notice how that is the same thing. I'm just split it up. Now I can do some factor by grouping. So I'm going to group these two together. I'll group these two together. And another common mistake where people will think, okay, now I'm done because it looks like it's all factored. It's good to go. Not quite. we got to factor out our GCF. So if I factor out my GCF in the first one, that's 3x times x plus, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. x divided by x, that goes away. Next one, I factor out a negative 4, and I'm left with x plus 5 once again. That equals 0. You should get the same thing here and here. If you didn't get that, you did something wrong. Okay, keep moving. So I have my GCF, which is x plus 5, and then I've got my leftovers right there and there. So 3x minus 4. And now you'll notice that if I were to multiply the first two, x times 3x would give me 3x squared. So you can see now our coefficients, those first ones, would actually match up where here it was x times x. Although that gives me x squared, it doesn't give me 3x squared. So this is totally factored now. Okay, so if it just asked me to factor, that would be my answer. I would leave it like that. But it asked me to solve, so i got to go a step further. So let's solve it now. I'm going to have x plus 5 equals 0. And I'll have 3x minus 4 equals 0. So if I subtract 5, I get x equals negative 5. That's one answer. The other one, I have 3x equals positive 4 divided by 3. And I get x equals 4 over 3. With the rainbow method, generally one of your answers is going to be a fraction because you have the leading coefficient. So because we have this leading co this coefficient here to match up with the 3x squared, you're going to usually end up having at least one answer that's a fraction. So don't be alarmed by that.